Here we go again. This battle cannot be avoided. This fight will die. Under ah. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Trounced our foe well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. I only hope we don't encounter any foes. Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Indeed. Tell us there's been a shift in the chain of command.
A good sleep will ensure we are pre- Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Do come again. Your Majesty, how glad I am to see you safe. The end of the world. Are things truly so dire? Though, I am aware of the dragon attack on Melv. We received word that naught but a smoking ruin remains. Twas a tragedy, and I would not see it repeated. However, without a clear path, we and the guard shall be hard pressed to forestall the impending crisis. You would have me evacuate the city. I see. Mayhap twould be for the best. Ever since the fall of Mel, the citizens of Burnworth have lived in fear that their homes are next to be assailed. If there is safe harbor to be found elsewhere, I believe we have naught to lose by seeking sanctuary. But I doubt I could convince the people of this city to abandon their homes, however terrified they may be. Methinks your majesty would do better to ask this of the Regent King. After the false sovereign vanished and the world was altered, his grace has been the one keeping order here in Vermont. If the people will heed anyone, tis him. Maintaining order in Vermont must be quite a burden upon the young Regent King. Let us aid him however we may. I am well aware of the particulars.
We shall remain here. So you've come. I'm glad to see you. Captain Brandt has already apprised me of your proposal. A full-scale evacuation of the citizenry. Truth be told, I had reached the same conclusion. So long as we cower within these walls, we must live in fear of going the way of Melv. My ministers have approved the plans, and I have petitioned the encampment survivors and the Thieves' Guild for aid. The only remaining obstacle is my mother. She has set herself stubbornly against any such flight. I have tried to make her see reason, but of late she has taken to shutting herself in her chambers. However, I fear that my position permits me to entertain her fancy no longer. I must put the needs of the common folk before her selfish whims. Now, there are a few matters I must attend to before we can evacuate, and I would fain welcome your assistance. We will require several ox carts to carry the sick and aged out of the city. Might I prevail upon you to petition the merchant at the ox cart station in the west of the city for their use? You may assure him that the royal treasury will foot any and all expenses. Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her meals come back scarcely touched. Between you and me, I fear for her health. Have you come to claim my life, Arisen? But I shall go to the grave with a smile on my lips, for I have no regrets. All I did, I did for my darling son. So do as you will. I have no intention of begging for mercy. Do with me as you will. Keep moving.
I'm not taking any passengers just big and if you think I'll surrender a single one you'd best think again I require the use of all of them to transport my wealth to safety Gone with you, ruffian. These carts are. And if you think I'll surrender a single one, you'd best think again. I require the use of all of them to trouble. Begging your pardon, sir, but I've just sold off my last cart. That fellow over there gave me a handsome price for half a dozen of them. Begging your pardon, sir. Be gone with you, ruffian. And if you think I'll sell, I require the use of all of At last. It is enough to have avoided the worst. Apologies, but I can't offer. Begging your pardon, sir. Be gone with you, ruffian. These cards are... Um, and if you think I'll surrender a single one, you I require the use of all of them to... Tr Power surges within me. I am glad your majesty... I am glad your majesty has seen fit to assist the regent king. His grace has need of stalwart... my years snuffed out in the blink of an eye oh what am i to do this ox is all i have if i lose him i starve whereabouts are you headed looking to ride the ox cart seems this old man's time is up oh what am i to do Make no mistake, we've the Sovereign to blame for the sorry state of our world. Not only did he let the dragon escape him, on purpose, mind you, but he led the army out on a full quest to fell it. There was no hope of victory, as he well knew. 
He did it for mere renown. And all it did was earn the dragon's wrath. I've no love for a ruler who would invite such calamity upon his own people. Apologies, but I can't... Begging your pardon, sir, but I've just sold off my last cup. Be gone with you, ruffian. And if you think I'll surrender a single one, I require the use of all of them. If that is your destination, we cannot follow. But know that your return is eagerly awaited. The throne and its powers hold no meaning in a broken world. The throne... Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her between you and me, I fear... compares to a real vow. Yes? This was in Mother's room. I did wonder where it had gotten off to. But why would she... Hmm. There's aught inside. It is a... letter. I... Might you excuse me? I would speak with Mother. Mayhap there is hope of changing her mind yet. All she did, all the scheming, all the plots, it was all for me, you see. So I... I cannot leave her to her fate. Mother, I must beg your forgiveness. 
I believe that you desire to make me sovereign solely for your own benefit. Yet in truth, you sought to better the lot of our people. Ah, but I would have benefited. And handsomely at that. Besides, I cannot deny that I was proud. I wish to see my own son on the throne, and no other. Even so, I cannot help but feel that all of this could have been avoided, had I only been more attentive. If I had but better known your heart, I could have shared in your burdens. You would not have had to suffer alone, and perhaps together, we could have walked a better path. Oh, Sven. Mother, I beg you, join the evacuation. You need not fall with this city. I would not see you take your crimes wholly on your own shoulders. That weight is as much mine to bear as tis yours. My son, you truly would make a fine and goodly ruler. Your kindness will save many lives. Of that I have no doubt. My son, your kindness will save many lives. Would you be so kind as to petition the merchant at the oxcart station in the west of the city for the use of his carts in the evacuation? You may assure him that the royal treasury will foot any and all expenses. My son, your kindness will save many lives. Beg pardon, sir. I mustn't be distracted. Begging your pardon, sir, but I've just sold off. Be gone with you, ruffian. These carts are mine. I paid good gold for them. And if you think I'll surrender a single one, you'd best think again. I require the use of all of them to transport my wealth to safety. Pray, do not impede me, sir. I'm on duty.
townspeople. Begging your pardon, sir, but I've just sold off my last cup. Why? What are you doing? Put that away! No! Spare me! I pray you! I fear for my life. Well, reckon he won't be coming back here in a hurry. As a matter of fact, I'd like to thank you for that. It didn't sit right, see? Having my wares claimed by some puffed-up minister trying to save his own skin. Anyhow, as long as I've got my gold, who takes the carts is no concern of mine. And if that craven comes crawling back, I'll tell him bandits took them. They say a crisis reveals one's true character. But that man was no less miserably selfish than he always seemed. Right you are. As long as I've got, and if that snivelling minister comes back. I am glad, Your Majesty. We shall await you here, Master.
Ah, you've returned. How fares your procurement of those carts? You do? My thanks. That puts paid to the last of our preparations. I will inform the citizenry forthwith. Townspeople depend on me. Once runs are wondrous vampires. Let's be wrong with filth in for survival. A minute now. My tent's getting cold. I'm sure I can handle this. I have been waiting for you, Arisen. There are more who can yet be saved. We ought to choose our next destination based on the movements of the clouds.
I am glad your majesty has seen fit to assist the Regent King. I'm afraid I must be going now. Thank you again for your aid. What is your intent? We seem to have a ride without issue. But are we safe here? Firm resolve has taken root in my heart since we met. I may be past my prime as a fighter, but I can still teach. And if anyone can master this technique, it is you. Go on, humor an old man. You have my fullest confidence. There is aught I would ask of you. That is a pity. Since times of eld, Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well.
watching you. Then I bid ye farewell. And... No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeeper understands. The Arisen is ever prudent in the application of coin. I've got wares of every ilk. Pleasure doing business with you. It was a pleasure to recount such good tidings. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. Casinke telpi nun fina ler, lera ne fir heranon, anne apeher firnis, aidalia anandor, nun lintan. Heror. Anne oia fermor, anendune falum tena? Nenambue yavstir uru findelnar, lia teren ayale. Kemen ros uru ne teren, ne romen anar telpe minasvana. Nun kemen ros osto luin eldalia, ne kemen vea al carua. Luintare mi kinalen meltol, parante lume an lis, ne kemen kayainju nun sil. Ne melto lincan alta car, an fir nun fiamur. Mori vin paran vanis in tiel? Palan hiar menran, lis fa arne farne. A elorato ala, nun mor arta her. Firnis an erumar isil rod et pele, lera aepena. Nenwen mor aewanon, Alcarva fir nun eldaia menelume sur carilm. Iav stir lalasta nun falasmir magananon anamor.
I thank you, friend. It would be no exaggeration to say that you have saved my people. Your fight continues, does it not? Be well, and come back safe. You've pushed your luck too far. I'll not take that from you. Pray calm yourselves, good people. I will have none of this squabbling. Sir Manella, you don't understand. This scoundrel's the one who started it. No, you don't understand. This is no time for the people of Batal to be quarreling amongst themselves. We shan't weather this calamity unless we can recall our common purpose and unite our efforts towards it. Some days passed, we used the information we gleaned from that bandit we captured. Breft, I believe his name was, to storm the Coral Snake's new hideout. Yet, it would seem we were too late. Most of the snakes had scarred, and only two cadavers remained. Those of the group's leader and of Hugo, who'd managed to escape his cell only a few days prior. They appeared to have exchanged mortal blows. Still, all's not lost. Without a leader to organize them, the remaining coral snakes pose a much smaller threat. We shall have peace, if only for a moment. There's something strange about the way time passes here. It would seem this is no longer the world we know. Is there no way to return things to how they were before? 